what's going on everybody for First We Feast. I'm Sean Evans coming at you from Bear Burger in Greenwich Village where I'm joined by the internet's busiest music nerd, Anthony Fantano. You know Anthony from his YouTube channel, The Needle Drop, where he delivers music reviews daily to the masses. I have a lot of strong uh, opinions on music and I've delivered some opinions on opinions over the years as well. But today, two of the most prolific bald men on YouTube are joining forces to review some of the most buzzed about meatless creations in New York City. Now, Anthony, you've been a thick vegan now for what, about 10 years, right? I mean, I've been a vegan for about 10 years, but I've been a thick vegan probably for a shorter <laughs> amount of time. As somebody who exists on YouTube, I don't think that YouTube is a great welcoming space <laughs> for vegans. For anything. For anything, really, for anything. but especially vegans. Mm. Can you talk about existing in that place? You know, YouTube is pretty much the place where you could have an ugly, <laughs> an ugly debate about anything. You could up a video of a cute animal and instantaneously the comments saying, oh, that, that, that dog's gay or something, you know? <laughs> Don't expect a, a, a sane conversation about anything in the comments. That's kind of what I've learned. Now is a good time to be vegan. You have this mass availability. You have food that is actually really good. You're gonna be reviewing these foods from that vegan experience. Yeah. What I'm gonna be doing as somebody who eats chicken wings for a living yeah. is coming at it from that perspective. <laughs> we will do it out of 10. Oh. Keep it very needle drop today. Mm -hmm. Anthony, you ready to get it going? Yes. So this first one is the barbecue seitan sandwich from Monk's Meat in Brooklyn, New York. It's with seitan, caramelized onions, mustard, coleslaw, vegan mayo, and whiskey, sour pickles. The creators treat their barbecue seitan like real barbecue pork, dry rubbing it and smoking it low and slow. Certainly looks like a barbecue pork it's sandwich. It's really colorful. On, you know, just a barbecue level, <laughs> It does mimic the taste of meat pretty well. I haven't had meat in a while, so I can't tell. <laughs> you have to take my word for it. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Even though it's probably not very likely that I'd be interested in meat ever again, this makes the likelihood way lower. The smokiness of the sauce and just kind of like the chewiness of the seitan and the crunchy vegetables on it too and the, um, the pickles just being as sour as they are. It's just like a, so many different layers to it. It's really good. What are you giving it out of 10? I would, I would say a light eight. I'd say a light eight <laughs> on this thing. I'd say a light eight. I see it, I see it as a light seven. If I'm just trying this, wouldn't be able to tell that it's not me. Up next, we have the spicy Merkez sandwich from Butcher's Daughter on the Lower East Side. The white bean vegan sausage with a fig mostarda. So this particular sausage is based off a of lamb made with a variety of spices. The Marquez has a little bit of a spicy kick to it. Not gonna blow you away hot, but a little bit of a kick. The spice blend is very herby. Mm -hmm. It's a very earthy kind of quality to it. In comparison to the sandwich we just ate, it's a little lighter on the palate. If you want something that tastes like a big, fat American sausage sandwich, this is not it. It's a you nice know, nice little light this lunch. This isn't like a downtown New York, hey, let's go get a sausage sandwich, <laughs> you know, like at the Italian place around the corner. This is like very much like a, a, little, a little bistro on mm -hmm. the corner. You're eating outside and you're reading the newspaper and a bunch of jagoffs are walking by. What are you giving it out of 10? I would, I would give this one like a, a, a light seven. A light seven? A light seven. Vegan meat substitute to vegan meat substitute. I prefer the barbecue that we had in the previous sandwich to the sausage in this sandwich, but as a whole thing that comes together, I do prefer the spicy Marquez to the barbecue sandwich. I'm giving this one a seven out of 10. All right, so up next is the new creation from Superiority Burger in the East Village. It's a vegan roll made with yuba, caramelized onions, pickles, vegan Dijon vinaigrette, and the steak in this is actually soy milk yeah. that's heated, and then they take the skim that's on top, they take that off, and that's what's thrown on the grill here to make the sort of meat substitute. So it's strange, it's so thinly sliced, like maybe uh, thinly sliced roast beef, but yeah. it doesn't taste like roast beef. You don't chew like roast beef either. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I've had any meat and I don't think anything in the meat world has ever chewed quite like this. 
you know, when you're rating an album, you always have to contextualize an album sure. before you give it a number, right? What's the intent? What are you giving it out of 10? I'm feeling kind of like a decent to strong four on it. As, as long as we're making music comparisons over here. Yes. You know, I mean, this could very much be the demo album. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, right. I think there's like potential to what's happening here. I'm gonna give it a decent to strong six. I actually didn't mind it. It, it, it felt like a little bit of a thinly sliced deli meat to me. They're not trying to make a meat substitute. They call it the new creation, and it is very much a new creation. So these were all appetizers, Anthony. We've just been getting our feet wet. Now it's the moment that everyone's been waiting for. It's time for the Impossible Burger. This is supposed to be as close <laughs> uh -huh. to the real thing as anyone has ever come. Let me hit you with the specs. You have wheat proteins for fleshy texture, potato proteins for crispy exterior, Japanese yams and xanthan gum to hold the ingredients together, it's coconut oil with a dash of soybeans to make it sizzle. This burger actually bleeds thanks to a special ingredient called heme. Heme is found in every living being. It's what makes your blood cells red. It carries oxygen. In our comment section, we have the most impassioned raw meat police on the internet. They are going to flip shit about this being raw. Mentally, it's like a it's little bit of a hurdle. psyching me out. I'm scared to eat it. I mean, whatever. I'll just take a bite of it and see how it goes down. This is really weird. Actually, it's like kind of freaking me out. Like in Unbreakable and you're Bruce Willis and you touch someone's hand and then all of a sudden, like you've, that. you've seen all the bad things that they do. <laughs> <laughs> I've just bitten this burger and it's like, I remember every burger that I ever ate. It tastes like a dry aged high end burger to me. Oh, like man. a medium rare burger, pretty much exactly. Not only is it visually like a bit of a mind fuck, it has a very meaty kind of quality to it, to the way that it chews to the way that it smells, to just the aromas in your nose when you're chewing. So, you know, if, they're, if their goal here is to recreate that experience, you know, they've done it kind of perfectly. I could give this a 10 in terms of just the recreation, you know, because it was literally so close that I was like, whoa. To me, it's a very strong nine, bordering on light 10. And I came in here as a bit of a skeptic. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a little bit of a burger snob, so I'm like, it's not gonna have that exact sort of burger quality. I don't care how many people write about it and say that it does. Yeah. You can't fool Sean Evans, but in this one, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm blindfolded, I can't tell the difference at all. This looks and tastes and smells like you know, exactly what I shouldn't be fucking eating. <laughs> <laughs> this is very much what it claims to be, the realest, fakest burger in the world. <laughs> Subscribe to The Needle Drop. First we feast, you already know. Till next time, internet, I'm Sean Evans.